In April last year, we went to a presentation by a guy from Bolton Exchange who told us what was happening there. Um, there were about a handful of us there who were quite enthused by the idea of what was happening at Bolton, um, and we decided to start something similar in, in Kilgaith. We knew that the village hall wasn't particularly well used, so we thought that uh, it would be a great way of, of getting it into more frequent use and also provide a very valuable service for the village. The initial meeting with the uh, representative from Bolton uh, was in April and after that a, a group of us got together to, to decide how to, to go about um, actually starting the cafe and we, we talked to people, we spread the word and in June we had a meeting of everybody that was interested um, and we explained to them what, what would be involved and how it would work and from, from that meeting we got our teams of volunteers and, and we opened in August so it just took four months from, from start to, to opening really. Essentially we're a community cafe and we like to offer good quality tea and coffee, homemade baking for which we're getting quite a reputation locally. Um, we also have uh, a book exchange which has become more popular as the, uh, as the Vickers um, has continued and, uh, and, and people seem really enthusiastic. A lot will go straight to the bookstore to see what's new, what's come in. Uh, there's a, an area for the children to play. Uh, we often have theme days as well which have proved very popular. We've had uh, a day when the men ran everything in the kitchen and did all the serving and that was very popular and we're going to run that again next year. We've had a continental day with all cakes and from all over Europe. Um, Cumbrian day when we had recipes that are traditional in different parts of Cumbria. Oh, and then we're spreading our wings a bit and we're, we're starting to have outings. We've had a, um, a trip to the Harrogate Flower Show and we're having a, a trip to the theatre in, uh, in January. So hopefully there will be more, more things like that. As long as the proceeds from the Vic are ploughed into the community in some shape or form, that's, that's our intention. And that might take the form of uh, equipment in, in the hall here or, or outings um, further afield. We run the Vic with a, with a group of 24 volunteers, eight of, of whom of those are, are trustees. Um, and they work on a, on a four-weekly rota. So we have six people working um, every Thursday afternoon and people end up by working once a month. It's their responsibility to set up the tables, bake some nice cakes, and provide possibly something for the, re for the village produce table, uh, and of course be on duty on, on, the, on their day and serve the, the cakes and drinks. It brings the hall into use, which I've already said, um, but it provides a focus for people to meet. Um, younger people and older people can, can meet in a way in which they wouldn't normally do, I think. It's very valuable also in that we, we get um, agencies coming in to exchange information. We're having training standards very soon. We've had the Cumbria Fire and Rescue Service, so that's been very useful. The cafe is also used by a number of carers who bring in their, the, the people who they, they look after. Uh, and they come from neighbouring villages as well. Another benefit of the Vic is that it's provided people with, uh, with added confidence. It's really noticeable that even amongst the volunteers, they've, they've become more confident not only in baking, but in, in their general um, kind of demeanour. It's given them extra confidence. And also um, several of the customers have, have, have kind of um, become more confident about coming to the Vic. You need your volunteers, that's the most important thing. You've got to have 24, in our case, 24 volunteers um, who are prepared to commit to, to the cafe once a month. Once you've got that, you could, then can build up gradually. You don't have to have a super duper brand new village hall with all new equipment on day one. You can apply for funds from parish council, county council, uh, other funding organisations, so that gradually over a period of time, if you need to, you can buy new tables, chairs, crockery or whatever it is you need. The other thing about is publicity. You really do need to make sure that you're in the public eye as much as possible and that might be through a website or a blog in our case. It might be notices in the parish magazine, uh, flyers, but I think the most important thing is word of mouth so you know your volunteers or your customers will go out and tell other people and, and we've certainly extended our sphere of influence. It's not just people from Colgate that come now, it's, it's a much wider, wider range.